Hello, wonderful teachers. This is Brother Jay Fulmer, and here we are in the lesson for 1 Nephi chapter 8, but just the first half, verses 1 through 18. Now, the lesson itself is quite excellent, and I think you'll find it very easy to navigate some interactive activities, multiple video options, and uh, things that will really help engage your students. So what I thought we could do today is talk a little bit about the reading assignment. Chapter 8 is the second of the required reading chapters. If you don't have a sheet like this but would like to use one to help your students track the reading, I'll include a link to it in the description. How did you do last term with this new reading requirement? If your kids did great, well, then maybe you don't need this material. But if things didn't go great, then here's some suggestions. One, emphasize the chapters when you come to them, those that are in the required reading. For example, chapter 8. Now, our chapter 8 here is focusing mainly on the tree and the fruit as it represents the love of God. The next lesson for tomorrow is going to focus on the iron rod, the word of God. And that will be a really good uh, follow-up to this. So maybe introducing the idea of the importance of your reading goals today and reinforcing it with the lesson tomorrow. I'm going to assume that you have already had your students set their reading goals in some format. You can use a sheet like this where you can encourage students to set a goal based on maximum expectations or minimum reading requirements. Keep in mind that whatever they choose, if they accomplish their goal, that is a win. These minimum reading requirements are fantastic. And if a student just does these, they will be richly blessed. On the Fulmer Gems channel is also a video down here in the teacher training, how to use the My Seminary website in order to set goals for their reading and to keep up on and mark those goals. So I will include a link to that video if you have not already seen it and feel like using the, the website would be a great blessing to your students, then that's a great resource for you. So however you do it, make sure you've had the kids set their goals. If they haven't done it already, this is a great lesson to do it. If they have, use this as an opportunity to find out how things are going. Let them examine how they're doing on their goals. One way to do that would be to pass out a little piece of paper with a question on it. How are you progressing? Now, it depends on how they've set up their goals. Is it the number of days they want to read or the number of chapters they want to read or how long they want to read? I don't know. But whatever it is, perhaps the question blank out of blank. Let's say, for example, that a student has set a goal to read the minimum requirement. That's 10 chapters. So how are you progressing? I've read zero out of 10. Or I've read two chapters out of 10 or whatever it may be. Have the students do the best they can to give a number to what their goal was. Now, you as the teacher have the opportunity to get an idea of how your students are doing and how you might be able to help encourage them. Now, let's say, for example, that the students haven't yet done any reading. Today's the day. Did you notice this is the first half? Any idea how long that would take to read if you took a moment and read that in class? Whether on the website or on the mobile app, if you go to the chapter, down below is a little headphones. Click that, and it will allow you to listen to the chapter. Notice it's under eight minutes, and that includes the um, chapter heading. So let's say about four minutes for the students to read those first 18 verses. And the audio scriptures reads fairly slow, so it could be a lot quicker for some students. But let's say as part of the devotional, you allowed the students four minutes to read the reading for today, which is half of chapter eight. You have the opening song, you have the opening prayer, and then right into this as the devotional. One, it would help prepare the students for the lesson, but two, it would get them to a place where they can mark something. In this case, they could mark half of chapter eight. 
Well, that's something. They've done something on their goal. Now, we don't want to get them in the habit of using class time to accomplish their reading goals. That's something that we want to encourage them to do on their own. But could this get them started? Could this give them a taste of the fact that they could do it? Then encourage the students that night to finish reading chapter 8 in preparation for the rest of chapter 8 in the lesson tomorrow. Give them an opportunity at the beginning of the class to mark that off wherever they're keeping track so that they're constantly thinking about their goals. When introducing the new requirement for reading, our administrator for seminaries and institutes of religion, Brother Chad Webb, quoted Elder Eyring. He recognized that doing it this way, goal setting, as opposed to a standard requirement, was going to take more effort. But Elder Eyring said this, to do this well will require more personal, individual t attention from teachers. It will add a burden, but it's a burden teachers should be glad to carry because their personal ministries are as important as their classroom instruction. If anyone can do it, our teachers can. They're wonderful. Agreed. I want to emphasize this part. Their personal ministries are as important as their classroom instruction. Have you been thinking about the reading requirement as a personal ministry to your students, helping them to accomplish this? It's not just an administrative thing. It's not just something that we hope that they will do or it's something that they need to do in order to uh, complete the requirements for seminary, but it's an opportunity to minister. Take the time in today's lesson and again, either give them a little time to read in class, encourage them to follow up or report on how their goals are, are doing between you and them, and use it as an opportunity to minister. Remember, as you'll be discussing in Lehi's vision, it's the Word of God that brings us to the love of God. I hope you'll take joy in this ministry.